A walk's just going to move everybody up, but not score a run. And there you see Campbell on the right center field, and that's a home run. So that's she shows why she's one of the top players, not only in the conference, but in South Jersey. And she just drove it to right center field. A real nice piece yeah. of hitting. Outside part of the plate, yeah. just drove it that way. And Nora Campo hits her eighth home run of the season. So Sterling right now down early on here. And I know a lot of the games, they got down because of errors, but obviously that's not the case here. It's just a matter of, I don't think the pitch was that bad, but Campo just went out after it and got a hold of it. She did get a hold of that drive. one. Talk about getting a hold of it. That's gonna one hop the fence. And Kelly's gonna get the second with a one out double. So this is a Woodbury team that definitely hits the ball. And that's gonna bring up and nice fastball from Mallory Skelly. And it looks like the last few hitters, she knows she's got to be closer to the plate. She's adjusting. Mm -hmm. How important for that? Just see the way Kaylee reached out and swung. And boy, the strike zone. Yeah, that's another one. You're right. You're right. There's a shot high to center field. And missed by the center fielder. And Harvey is going to get second. With a leadoff double. Tough play. She was going back. I don't know if they're going to give her an error. Here's the pitch. Down low. Tap right to in front of the plate. And Skelly. Here's the pitch. And she pops it up. So that's what you want it. And Pelcat gets under and gets it. So. Two things you needed there, either a strikeout or a pop up, and you got one, you got what you needed. So no harm there. Still base. Here's the pitch, and that's fly. Not too deep. I don't know if it's deep enough to tag. She's going Wow. Yeah, just didn't get it out of her, her glove quick enough for she might have had a play at the plate, but Woodbury tags up and scores to extend their lead to four to nothing. Runners at first and second. Woodbury holding a four to nothing lead, high strike. Count is a bum. If it goes foul, they'll call you out on the third strike. Right, right. And Kelly swings and misses. Ground ball through the legs, but over to Raina Pelcat and gets let. Did she? Did he call her out? I had her. Yes, she was blocked here. And Sean's going to go over there. I, I thought Ashley. Did she? Did he call her out? He okay, call her out. out. Okay. Boy, that was close because it, it looked like Sims might have come off the bag, but apparently she was able to get her foot back on as the runner is down, and that's where Mr. Clank went to help her out. Here's the pitch, and a fly ball to center field. And Kelly's going to grab that one for the third out. Jim only giving up one run there. And it's tough because I think Ashley has a line drive. The left field is going to go over the left fielder's head. And Skelly is going to get a double. Walks into second. And she's going to get a third on the throwing hour. So Skelly starts things off with a double to left field and will get third on the hour. Yeah, pretty much an ill-advised throw there by Trapani. Um, Skelly was already yeah. pretty much at second, not the ground or not the strikeout right now. Get the ball, and that's going to fall to the right-hand side. Wasn't hit hard, yeah, but it was hit to the right-hand spot. So Megan Barbara knocks home the run, and Sterling narrows the gap to three, four to one, right now. And nobody out with Megan Barbara aboard at first. Yeah, and that's nice going to bring up. Adam McLaughlin. Nice shot by Megan. It almost looked like uh, 
It almost looks like the right fielder Smith wanted to come up throwing the first, but the first baseman kind of moved to see if they, yeah. she can catch the ball. There's a pop up to second. That's going to go back, and she's going to miss it. And Barbara is going to slide in there and save. Good call. Yeah. Good read by Barbara because she had the hold, obviously. If it was caught, she didn't want to get doubled up, but you could see early on that the second baseman, as she was going, nobody even on second now. Yeah, nobody even on second here. And everybody's safe on the bump back to Harvey. God, it kind of looked at third, a little bit of indecision, and, and Gibson is somebody with a lot of speed, even more so. Here's the pitch to Lambertina. Hits her! The hits her, Lambertino's aboard. Another run That's across him. the plate, so. Yeah, Sterling narrows the gap to four to three. Still nobody out. Base is loaded. Yeah, four to three. Um, hey, that's. Bring up Victoria Scott. That's an RBI. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Ground ball back to the pitcher. And she is out at the plate. So a nice job of Gutierrez. As you said, Sean, that's another situation where Gutierrez's only play was to grab that. And he gets her bat on one of these balls here. There you go. Ball pie gets it. Nice play by the second baseman Ooh. coming over. And Sims just gets back. Boy, I don't think the second baseman saw. She looked back. She may be one of those batters who's uh Oh, there's a fly, fly ball, ball to left down. field. Scott's under it. Looks like she's going to get it, and she does. And Campa is not able to tag up. Of course, going to that left side. She stays in second, so two outs. Victoria Scott. And that's ball four. So great at bat by Mallory Skeller to start things off. Takes a few extra steps off the mound, and she's ready. And there's a ground ball to short. Bobbled. And we're going to be safe all around. Runners are going to advance on the throw. It's going to be a dead ball. Yeah. And they're going to get a dead ball. So runners at second and third. And, and there's the advantage, Sean. We talked about putting the ball in play. Mm -hmm. You do it enough, and good things are going to happen. And Sterling's got runners at second and third. Took her eye off the ball, so it came up and actually the ball played her a little bit. And there's a base hit to left field, not hit hard. And that could get two runners home. They're going to get the go-ahead run home. And Mega Barber and Sterling extends their, gets the lead, 5-4 on a base hit to left field by Hannah McLaughlin. Yeah, for the first <laughs> time today, and that's a, uh, we should have a pinch runner here for uh, McLaughlin. It's high and away. So, Sterling with runners at first and second. Hit a ground ball. You still want to move the go-ahead runner across. And she's hit again. Hit again. And that brings up Victoria Scott with the bases loaded. One out. Lambertino at first. Sims at second. Adcock at third. Yep. Bases loaded. Pelchek up here. This is hit again. Oh, this is got Scott. Hit. Oh, Victoria Scott. Scott. I'm sorry. Victoria Scott's hit. So, Sterling another run. Extends their lead to six to four and right now Gutierrez is having a lot of trouble. I'm surprised kind of like what you were saying it, it, it just boosts the whole team's confidence. High and yeah. away. Ball four so another run comes home on the walk to Pelkak. Okay. Yeah both her and her sister but I believe she had over a hundred hits so it came down as the uh, there's a walk by Steph. There's a walk by another Steph. Run. Kelly so Gutierrez really struggling out there right now. Here's the pitch to Skelly. A changeup. She waits on it. Drives it up the middle. Two runs are going to score. As Pelkak right there crosses the plate. That's a nice five one inning. Again, we batted around and back on uh, Beakley coming back on to uh, Beckley, excuse me, coming back on to uh, pinch run. I don't know if you got a replay on that, but it almost looked like the ball stayed on top of a plate. So that might have been a fair ball there. Oh. And you had okay. Yeah, you had contact. That defensive interference of the runner is going to be out here. Okay, yeah, we saw the interference, and so the runner will be out. Uh, now, I think I believe, I'm not sure what the rule is, but I could even be up to the umpire's discretion. If he ruled that he could have made an, a, a play to first, he can actually rule a double play there as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's up to their discretion. Okay. So, yeah, I guess. Nobody scored. Uh, yeah, nobody so. can score on that. No. Uh, 
because away the because uh, it is a dead ball. Runners. Got runners at first and second. Barber on first and Beakley on second. That walk to Campo, but as we said, that was as we look at a ground ball down the third baseline, just by Gibson. Scott does a nice job getting to it in a hurry, and Here's the pitch and strike three blows it right by or just went with the fastball and. I'm thinking she thought lower part of the lineup, just go with the fastball, blow it by her. And that's a line drive, base hit by Trapati. Runners are hold up, not gonna take any chances being down right now. And that's gonna bring up Kendall Harvey, the two hole hitter with Campo on deck. I would too. And there's a line drive to the gap for Harvey, cut off there nicely. They're gonna get two runs across, and no, there's a play, oh. Didn't think they had a shot, had her, and didn't touch the plate initially, then she went back and touched it, and two runs are across on the double by Harvey, so runners at second and third with Campo up here. Two runs scored, so Woodbury, Narrows the gap to 10 to 6, and I think with the runner, the first base open, I have to feel like they're going to pitch around Campo. And foul one off early. Here's the pitch, and there's a fly ball. They're playing her deep. That's going to fall in, and they're going to get it in. One run will score. So, Woodbury narrows the gap to 10 to 7, and that's a play, Ashley. That would normally be a fly ball out, but with the fielders, and rightfully so, with their backs against the fence, with Rachel White up, and she hits a ground ball off the glove of Pelkak, and safe all around, and the runner from third scores, so count. Two. Ulmer goes down looking. Maggie Ulmer does. Here's the two strike pitch. Ground ball to the first baseman. Sims, she gets the out, and Sterling comes away with a big win over Woodbury. Coming back and just holding on at the end, Skelly gets the win, so.